Hi, I'm Dr. Alan. I'm a GP in Sheffield. Uh, another quick video update about what I've been up to today to give you a bit of an idea. And uh, today I've actually been doing one of my kind of, I'm a clinical director for primary care in Sheffield, which means I've got a kind of a leadership role uh, in shaping services. So it might be interesting to hear what I've been up to because it's a bit different to, to seeing patients. So the first thing was I met with another GP and someone, one of, the, one of the public health doctors, to think about health inequality. So how do we try and improve the, the health um, of people, particularly who've got the worst, some of the worst health outcomes in the city? So how do we kind of, <clears throat> how do we improve that? And it's a lot around kind of helping people to build confidence. Um, uh, and how to involve the public in conversations about things that matter to them and, and partnering with the um, communities to help them to have the communities that, that they want and help them helping them to shape their communities then at 10 o'clock we had a, a, a we've got a walk that goes from our surgery um with a, a gp goes on it and it's um but it's about kind of how do we how do we um um, improve some of the things in our life in our lives that, that have an impact on our health and so it's kind of moving medicine from being something that we practice in a consultation room to being on a walk and we were able to talk about lots of things that make a really big difference to health so th this was a really inspiring part of my day to be honest because it there was just so many great stories of people that have made difficult uh, changes in the habits of their lives that has led to them feeling more alive um, losing weight and um, feeling healthier feeling good and um, taking up new hobbies and um, I think that the, the, the small discussion I had with them there was just uh, they're the things that make a real difference you know and, and having connections and making friends and um, we, we can prescribe things and we can give sick notes and that's a fairly quick solution um, to some of these very challenging problems that people have in their lives and it really felt like the, on the walk we were really discussing the things that really matter that really make a big difference so that was really lovely to kind of almost reimagine how how can we do healthcare better um and then i had a meeting with someone at the uh, national level talking about how do we enable patients to be involved more in in designing services i then had a coaching conversation which I can really recommend. I, I love coaching. It, it's an approach to how do we help people to um, to find answers to some of the difficulties they have in their lives. Um, and it's through listening and through asking questions and the, the attention is on the person who's being coached. And I had my coaching session today and um, uh, for, the, for the first time with this particular person. And um, some of the outcomes of that were around um, managing emo uh, emotional state because uh, in in general practice it's very very high paced it's actually quite adren there's a lot of adrenaline really uh, and it, keep it, if you're adrenaline if you're running on adrenaline a lot it doesn't do it isn't great for kind of having being able to wind down so we talked a bit about kind of what are the some of the techniques that you can notice when you're running on adrenaline and um, so it might be kind of pausing every hour or two and trying to get out of your head and doing something physical um, so that's going to be something I'm going to be trying um, and then in the afternoon I travelled to one of the other surgeries and met with one of the managers who's got a kind of a leadership role within the city as well and we were talking about how do we improve general practice in Sheffield and we really think that's a lot around building resilience within the teams um, that we have in Sheffield um, and improving morale and getting the best out of the, the people we have in our surgeries. And so that led to some conversations about how we do that and a couple of ways is is how do we get people together who are really passionate about improvement. Um, can we have a bit of an improvement improvement community uh, of of um of um some of the staff who are really in, into into this and how can we kind of spread good practice and share good ideas and the other is around leadership and how do we find people who are who are the re like real true leadership is where people really want to bring out the best in other people and they're really good at listening um and kind um um and and people who we tend to admire and trust and it's how but they are not always people who will think of themselves as a leader and they maybe come from backgrounds where they haven't had 
uh, maybe professional background or they might not have confidence and it's how do we find those people how do we encourage them how do we help them to be kind of taking more of a lead role um, because that kind of leadership can really make a difference um, so yeah very different day to my normal day-to-day -day seeing patients but um, hopefully some of these things are going to make an impact in day-to-day -day, uh, general practice in Sheffield.